In this video, we're going to be talking about Warwick Medical School, the only grad-only medical school in the UK. This is part of a series that we've been doing on each individual medical school and helping you answer the question, should I apply to this medical school? We're gonna give you some insights into what the course is like, what the nightlife is like and social, what it's like to be a student there, and just give you those answers to the things that you can't really find on Google based on what our tutors who are from a variety of medical schools will tell you what it's like to actually be there. If you wanna see the entire playlist, you can check it out here. Otherwise, if you subscribe to the channel, every week we're going to be doing a new university profile so that by the time you submit your application, you should have a good idea of roughly where it is you want to apply to. We've also done a video on how to choose your medical school, which is gonna help you understand intelligently based on your individual qualities, where you should apply, and is gonna give you the best chance of success. So why would you choose Warwick Medical School? They rank top 10 of Russell Group Universities in the UK, and the best in the Midlands. They've also, for the medical school itself, got an overall satisfaction rate from final year students of 83%. So some of the key features are that it's the largest all graduate entry program in the UK with 193 places. It's got first class training facilities in the local hospital. They expose you clinically early on. They have case-based learning, which we'll talk about shortly. They're a center for academic excellence, which means they have highly qualified and committed staff with a passion for excellent student development. And Warwick University as a whole itself is consistently ranked in the top 10 nationally for research and teaching. So let's look at what makes Warwick stand out to other medical schools. Well, firstly, as I said, it's a grad only course. So everybody there will have done another degree. Unlike the other medical schools that offer grad programs that you are mixed in with the other undergrad graduates, usually people who've come straight from school. Graduate programs by their very nature are more intense, so it will require a little bit more hard work and motivation to get you there, but generally they are the more rewarding ones for some people. So let's break it down briefly year by year. Now, the first year will be spent mostly on campus, but they will have some clinical exposure. So alongside that in year one, you'll cover modules such as health, metabolism and homeostasis, blood, lungs and heart, brain and behavior, locomotion and reproduction and child health. From year two onwards, the rest of the course is mostly clinical, which means that so you'll be rotating through different specialties, different wards amongst different hospitals, mainly Warwick Hospital, George Elliott, and then UHCW. And here's a quick breakdown of some of the subjects you'll be covering in year two, year three, and then year four, which is your final year. So as I say, in this video, we wanna get a good feeling of what it's truly like to be a student there, to get that feel for it. Rather than just reading words that are on the website, we wanna understand what it is like if you actually go ahead and study here. So Warwick actually gets very high student satisfaction ratings. So let's have a look at some stats. Well, the university itself consistently ranks in the top 10 amongst the complete university guide, and the university as a whole has 29,500 students as well as about 7,200-ish staff. Cost-wise, if you are a UK student, it is a grad degree, therefore you are eligible for a tuition fee loan. If you wanna find out more about how fees work, depending on whether you're applying as a grad or a non-grad, that video here will give you a very detailed breakdown of that. However, if you are an international student, the fees are obviously a lot higher. For the first year, it's about 27,200 and something, and then for the second, third, and fourth year, per year, it's about 47,500. Warwick also provides various scholarships and bursaries to support students in managing their finances effectively. The university themselves provide bursaries to first year medical students and they also provide an iPad for students to study with at the time that we're filming this. So let's look a little bit at how they actually teach on the course. Across all four years, the way they teach will include case-based learning, lectures, small group sessions, experiential learning, clinical skills, and e-learning. And if you're wondering what case-based learning or CBL is, CBL is what they call a learner-centered method of teaching, a learning that Warwick regard as something called directed discovery. It identifies what's essential to know about a patient case, encouraging students individually and in small groups to take an active role in identifying what they need to learn and how they can learn it. 
So as we said, year one will be mostly university-based teaching with a little bit of clinical experience sprinkled in. Then year two will be increasing the amount of time spent in the healthcare setting, slowly transitioning you to year three and four where you'll spend most of your time in the healthcare setting. So now on to the all important social and nightlife. Those are the things that people want to know most about. Well, Coventry is a pretty busy city. They have lots of bars, nightclubs, and various other ways to enjoy yourself. Warwick Campus is situated in Coventry, a modern city with high street shops shops, restaurants, nightclubs, bars, sitting alongside medieval monuments. The nights on campus are always lively. Uh, places that they recommend are the Copper Rooms Club Nights, Terrace Bar and Fusion Bar, the Dirty Ducks Karaoke and Quizzes, and the Art Centre Cinema. Right, let's talk about accommodation. As a Warwick Medical student, you can apply for accommodation on campus for your first year of study. They say that they can't always accommodate everybody on campus, but they do have university accommodation slightly off campus that they can hook you up with. After your first year, once you've done halls, you typically then pair off with friends and then privately arrange your own accommodation, usually a flat or a house that you're sharing with a few other friends. However, as a grad, you've probably been through all of this once before and know exactly how it works. As for the Students' Union, they have loads of groups and extracurricular activities to get involved with. And as you'll see when you get to medical school, a lot of medics play sports. Warwick offers over 300 societies and sports clubs through the Students' Union, and its SU is one of the biggest in the UK, providing representation, support, opportunities, activities, and value for money. The SU offers a lot of places to eat and drink, with restaurants, bars, and clubs, and what's really cool is that the outlet profits are reinvested back into student services. So I hope you found that really useful. Just a reminder that graduate entry medicine is ridiculously competitive. So if you'd like to find out a little bit more about how you can get the edge, I recommend that you check out this grad playlist that I've made especially here, or you check out how to choose your medical school because that is such a big factor. But otherwise, I'll thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in one of those videos.